These are six insecurities that men typically have about dating. But when doing the research, I've realized that the majority of women don't actually care about any of them. And I'm gonna tell you why. There will always be a minority of women that won't date you or won't be attracted to you because of these things. But like I said, it's a minority and these aren't the women for you. One, being nerdy. A lot of guys think their hobbies are unattractive. Just because girls don't like those hobbies or don't get involved in them, doesn't mean that she doesn't find you attractive because you're into them. Women love a man who has passions, who has interests, who has hobbies. It doesn't matter if it's sports, it's video games or whatever. Anybody who can talk about and explain something with passion is attractive. It's so much more interesting than somebody just who doesn't have any passions at all. It also helps to combat one of the biggest attraction killers, which is clinginess or neediness. And when somebody puts their passions and interests first, then they're not gonna end up being overly clingy with their partner. They've got other things to do, other things that excite them. And they're not just devoting every single waking moment to her, which will turn her off like that. And I'll tell you something that you didn't know. A lot of girls secretly want to get involved in whatever that passion or interest is that you have. Let's say football is your biggest passion. Your partner will get so much joy if you're able to describe and explain the sport to her and bring her into the fold. Take her to games, teach them about the players, the rivalries, Girls love getting involved in what you're interested in. It makes them feel closer to you. Don't shy away from your hobbies or passions. Share them. It's part of what makes you, you. And besides, if you're busy with your passion and hobbies, then you're definitely not out there looking for other women, which a lot of girls worry about. Number two, your height. This is one of the oldest insecurities ever. Guys thinking they can't get the girl they like because of their height, because they're a bit of a smaller guy. Think about it genetically. You might be small because your parents were small. So how did your dad start dating your mum if he was small? Small people wouldn't exist anymore. And from speaking to a lot of women, what I've realized is it's not actually your height that they care about. It's your attitude to your height. We've all heard of short man syndrome. She doesn't care if you're short. But if you've got an attitude about being short, you've got a chip on your shoulder and you always think that you can never get the girl you want because you're short, that will come across when you speak to them. And she's gonna be like, ugh, what is this? And I know a lot of girls will want a taller guy when thinking about their dream ideal person. But it's not the be all and end all. They will still date somebody who's smaller if they're charming, charismatic, confident, kind. Build that charming character that your height doesn't make a difference. And I tell you what, I have seen tons of small guys get attractive girls because of their personality. Being really funny helps too. I'm telling you, this is more in your head than theirs. I think media and social media are to blame for this. But let's put a scenario out. You're a short guy, you've just had an amazing date with a girl. It's ended, she's gone back to her friends and she's telling them all about you and all about the date. He was amazing, he was sexy. He made me feel sexy. He was charming. He's a bit on the small side, but to be honest, I can't wait to see him again. He made me feel so good. Don't let your own insecurity about your height stop you from showing your true character, the amazing version of you to everybody. Number three, your body. Personally, for me, I fluctuated weights a lot during my life. I've been big, I've been thin. I was very chubby when I was younger, then I became extremely skinny, to being fit and healthy, to being a little bit more overweight again. I fluctuated constantly, and I tell you what, it has never, ever stopped me. Similar with your height, let your character do the talking for you. Who cares if you've got a few pounds here and there? Who cares if you're extremely skinny? It does not matter. Let everything that you are speak for itself. This will completely outweigh whether you have six pack abs. And besides guys, all women want to do is cuddle. And what's more comfortable cuddling? Six pack abs or a well looked after dad body. It is important to still stay healthy. No woman is going to be attracted to a guy who doesn't care about their health or their well-being. It doesn't matter if you're overweight or underweight, but be somebody who cares about themselves and is doing something about it. Genetically, you may not be able to put weight on or you may not be able to lose weight. If you're shoving takeaways in your mouth every single night and drinking an excessive amount every single day, it's somebody that's not looking after themselves, somebody who's not healthy and doesn't see the bigger picture. And this is unattractive. Four, being vulnerable. 
So many guys have the same insecurity that they think if they're vulnerable and they show their feelings that women won't like them. This couldn't be further from the truth. No, they require you to be vulnerable because without vulnerability, you wouldn't be able to ask them out. You wouldn't be able to tell them how amazing and hot you think they look. You wouldn't be able to tell them what you want to do with them. You have to be vulnerable and show your feelings in order to talk to these girls. And they do want to hear about your emotions, but what they don't want is the wounded animal. Oh, this happened to me. Oh, this is my life. Please feel sorry for me. They need to know what your feelings are and that you can feel emotion, but somebody who is confident with it. This is how I feel and this is what I'm gonna do about it. This is how I feel and this is what I want from you. Emotion with confidence. I feel this way, but I don't care what anybody else thinks about it. I am happy feeling this emotion and speaking this truth. And if your vulnerable emotion that you're sharing is something that you suffer from, you need to have an answer yourself. She is not your therapist. She is not there to give you the answers or for you to cry on her shoulder. You should be in charge of your own emotions and your own feelings and you should be looking at ways that you can help yourself. Have a plan and a direction for your emotions and feelings. Five, finishing a little too quick. You know, you're having a good time and oh, 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 whoops. Oh, I'm so sorry. Stop apologizing for this. It's a compliment for them when you really think about it. And I'm telling you, a lot of women don't care that you finished a little early. We have this obsessive need to apologize for enjoying ourselves. And I tell you what, it happens to the best of us, so you need to stop worrying about it. But there is one important thing, is we should not be selfish in this situation. If this does happen, we need to find another way for them to find completion. Six is not being rich. All these guys avoiding dating girls because they're not rich. They're like, oh, I'm not gonna date anybody until I've got my wealth. Yeah, that may never happen. And I tell you what, the majority of girls do not care if you're rich or not. Of course, we would all like to be richer. Who wouldn't? But what you'll realize is most women will take stability and honesty over a fancy dinner. Okay, you might not be able to go to the most expensive restaurant in town, but you can pay your rent. You can have home cooked meals. Every night, it doesn't matter. You are looking after yourself and you're doing the best you can. That honestly is enough. We need to stop trying to impress women with flashing money, especially if we don't have it. Because one, you're gonna get yourself in a horrible mess with so much debt. But two, if you think that money is the only way to attract this girl, then either you don't know her at all or she is the wrong woman for you. And if the majority of women cared if you were rich or not, then only the elite would have dates. Only the elites would have wives. Us common men would never get laid again. Hopefully you've realized by now that you do not need these insecurities. You, just as you are, just as you were made, is enough. Add some charisma and charm to it and you guys are in flavor country. And if you want another video on how to be more confident, how to be more charming, then uh, click this or this, whichever one it is. <laughs>